Hello and welcome to this short video about Jaguar XK8, engine front cover clean and fitting new seals. This is episode 19 in my series of short videos uh, showing how I change my cam chain, cam chains and cam chain tensioners. In this video I'm going to clean up the front cover, fit new seals before uh, assembling onto the vehicle. Okay this is the before shot, pretty grimy as you can imagine. Uh, this sits right at the front of the engine behind the radiator and picks up a lot of road dirt and you can really see it embedded on the surface. So how I tried to clean mine up, I uh, got myself my drill, a, uh, a brush, a wire brush to go on the drill, some wet and dry, some metal polish and to refit the seals or to take the seals out I had a uh, a lump hammer, a piece of wood and a plectrum and also a one pound weight which is not shown on this which will become evident shortly. Okay so clean up the surface, get your wire brush and your drill and just very gently get rid of the dirt. You're probably better off using a cloth or a plastic brush for this to avoid scratching the surface excessively. Then what I used was a bit of metal polish together with wet and dry and uh, wet the surface trying to get all the oxide off and any uh, inbuilt uh, grime, rough polish and you get a result like this. Maybe excessively scratched because of the metal brush I used but uh, not too much so. Came up pretty well, was reasonably happy with it. Not superb but it'll do. Okay next job was to clean the internal surface, uh, clean the seal grooves. So here I took the seal out which is not shown here and actually cleaned the inside of the groove out with a rag a refit of the seal. This was in order to avoid the, the groove being damaged while I'm still not fitted to the vehicle. I will fit the seal just to the point I fit it to the vehicle. Next actually to remove the crankshaft seal you need to find an appropriate shaft metal piece to uh, push it out with. Now I find a one pound weight, uh, an old one pound weight was just about the right diameter to do this. What you do is get a piece of wood with your weight or a, a diameter of bar or whatever and just a few taps pop, it's pop straight out. No problem. It's not located a shoulder or anything so it's reason easy to come out. Then you've got to re remove your VVT oil seals. Um, this is where your little plastic plectrum comes in so it's not to damage the seal groove. You just flick it out and pull it away. So there you go. Um, you need to wipe and decrease the internal surface then uh, just to make sure you got all the old oil, oil, oil out. There's a before and after shot of that. Right then, now fitting the new crankshaft oil seal. Again clean and wipe this, the seal surface before and I would say wet the seal uh, to allow it to um, uh, reduce the uh, friction as you um, assemble it. And again get a small piece of wood, lump hammer, give it a gentle tap to try and centralize it all good and just keep tapping gently and the seal will progressively go into the uh, the housing no problem. A little few more taps needed but you're basically almost there. Okay then the VVT uh, seals then you need again to clean the seal groove out and uh, fit the new seal. So there you go before and after so reasonably happy the parts in a lot better condition going on the vehicle than it was and it really shows that the, the job's been done properly in my opinion. Okay thank you very much for watching. Uh, the next episode is going to be episode 20 where I'm going to fit the cam chains and cam chain guides and tensioners. Uh, please subscribe um, if you'd like to see more XK videos. Bye bye.